Okay. Oh my goodness. My voice. <laughs> I haven't made a video. I haven't made a video in uh, in a while. E I'll title this video The Apocalypse The Apocalypse And uh, I think this this song is a very nice song It's got a very good uh, actually I like the um the the image in the video I'm like this uh, wasteland. Is the why am I turning it? Uh, I don't know what's going on. I don't. I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's real. real I uh, don't oh man my, f my freaking uh, anyway uh, I don't have much confidence in my understanding of reality, of the knowledge, I don't have a lot of confidence in my beliefs. Oh, I don't have much confidence in my beliefs or values, no, and values, and or values. Uh, so the apocalypse is, <laughs> it's not necessary. The apocalypse I am waiting for is not necessarily a nuclear Armageddon. Armageddon. So that may happen. And it may uh, eventuate the <laughs> apocalypse. Oh, apocalypse. Oh, God. That is forced upon humanity. The apocalypse I am talking about is. I don't know, that, that's how I feel. I feel like lost. I feel like what the fuck is going on? I don't know what's going on. I don't know. I don't know what's real. I don't have any uh, like vision, vision of the future. So, I don't have any vision of the future. I don't know. I can't, can't even write this stupid keyboard. is messing up all the time. I don't know what's going on. I have a vision of the future or hope for humanity. Or simply hope for my own life, a vision for my own life. I guess it's kind of personal, I guess. Yeah, I, I don't know what to do personally, but I also don't know what, what human, what like, what's going on, like. Um. Maybe it's more personal rather than 
objective. Maybe my problem is more subjective than objective. Maybe in my personal life, I don't know what I want to do. I don't. I don't have any hope or dreams or any vision or goals for the future. So I'm waiting for the apocalypse because the apocalypse is the end of everything. Am I waiting for the end of my own life? <laughs> I don't know. It's like the personal and the impersonal, the objective, they all, it's, it's like almost like they're connected. Am I projecting? Am I just projecting my own personal problems onto the world? I don't know, maybe. Maybe it's, maybe this is just a problem with me on a personal level. Maybe I'm just unhappy with my life and, uh, you know, I just can't get my act together. I'm unhappy, miserable, cannot get my act together, therefore I'm waiting for the apocalypse, the end of the world. Um, I mean, I just make, this is just a personal thing. Because if it's a personal thing, then it's like, you know, that's just my problem. It's not anyone else's problem, it's my problem. But what if it's not really... What if, what if the personal, it's not just, like, I cannot completely, you know, disconnect, divorce my personal from the world out there, the world as it is. What if the world as it is, the reality of the universe, does not make any sense? I don't know why we're here. I don't know why DNA life exists. Yes, aliens and... All of that is real, so that still doesn't fix anything. I don't think the aliens care about us. I mean, look at what's going on. I mean, aliens are gonna—they're not gonna save us. They're not gonna—we're not. There's no saving for anybody. No one is gonna save us. You know, a lot of people are waiting for someone to save them, but there's—I don't think there's any savior. What are they gonna save us from? From ourselves? From them? Of some others want to hurt us, so well, are they gonna make a fixed life for us? <laughs> That's what people say. No, no, the aliens might be just in the same place that we are in. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe, maybe there are beings who are like angels, or, or who might be like uh, not angels, but more advanced, like interdimensional beings who are like so. Maybe there is a type of life that 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 makes sense, you know. Maybe maybe there are you know, sentient beings out there, and they've got it all figured out. But but I don't think I have. I don't think hum I have got things figured out, and I don't think humanity has got things figured out. So yes, there is a personal component to this, but it's not entirely divorced from an objective or impartial appreciation of reality. I don't know what's going on. I'm a, I have a crisis of, 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 I don't know the word, faith or confidence or, uh, I don't trust my, I don't, I don't know what to put my hopes and dreams into because it's like, everything seems, everything seems so fragile. Everything seems so fragile. So the personal is is intertwined with a relatively objective understanding of reality. I'm like, the question remains, what are we doing here? What is the purpose of life? What is going on? Why are we doing this life thing? Why, why, why is humanity existing to, to do what? What are we doing? I just don't get it, man. I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't understand what's going on. I don't get it. I don't understand. And my, and my, you could say depression, crisis, whatever, is is partially caused by not knowing what is going on. 
I wish someone told me the truth. I wish someone told me, you know, I'm so tired of all these theories of this and that. Yeah, they all sound, and you know, they, they have truths to, yes, yes, so what, aliens, okay, so what, but God, I mean, what, what, what did, why did God create the universe? Why? Why is it here? What are we doing here? Was the universe always here? Well, how did we get here? You know, I wish, I wish. I'm so tired of the lies. I'm so fucking tired of the lies. I want someone to tell me the truth. I want, I want honesty. Yes, I can handle the truth. I'm not talking about uh, aliens. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm talking about everything. I want to know everything. <sighs> it's just very frustrating.